Welcome to the Gideon Taylor Fluid EPATH demo. This demonstration starts in an iPad view. Click the EPATH homepage fluid tile to navigate to the EPATH navigation collection. Search for an employee using any information you have. Click the Related Actions menu to view job information or personal information where available. Use the Actions menu to select a Personnel Action Form. You can also view job details right from the form header. This employee's job information is pre-populated on the job change form. Compensation details are also pre-populated. Today I'll be changing this employee from full-time to part-time. Once I make this change, other fields will appear and be available for me to edit. I'll use a prompt to search for valid values. and I'll edit other fields with text. Click Next to edit compensation information. Compensation information will automatically update based on any changes made to position. Action and reason are defaulted based on the changes made to the form. I can add attachments from my desktop or mobile device. I can also add form comments that will carry forward through the entire life cycle of this form. Click Save to save an incomplete form for later, or click Submit to submit the form to the workflow. On the Results page, I can review the form approval workflow. Let's return to the EPAF search to rehire a former employee. For a former employee, the options in my related actions menu will look different. My only available personnel action is a hire form. Personal information is pre-populated from applicant information or from existing personal data and is open for updates. Demographic information is also pre-populated and is open for updates. Enter a hire date. The Gideon Taylor EPATH uses employee groups to categorize employees based on shared characteristics. Position numbers and other job information can be filtered and defaulted from an employee group setup table.
I'll rehire this employee into a full-time salaried employee group, then select a position. All the necessary job information will update based on the employee group and position number I select. Next, I'll add compensation information. This form is built with validation to ensure the distribution percentage is always equal to 100%. The rehire action and reason are pre-populated because I chose an applicant who is already in the system. This form requires that I acknowledge a rehire policy before I can continue. I can also add comments that will stay with the form throughout its life cycle. This form has a two-step approval route and must be approved by a manager before being routed to an HR representative. The transaction log displays both the time and date stamp for form actions, as well as a time date stamp for action items. Now let's try a different personnel action form in an iPhone view. I can also use the My Team page to start an ePath. Once I select an employee, I'll use the Related Actions menu to navigate to a termination form. Enter a termination date and the last date worked. The termination action is pre-populated, but reason is open for selection. Because I selected the resignation reason, I'm required to attach a resignation letter. I can see the approval routing and transaction log on my cell phone as well. Let's log in as a manager and see what forms are ready to approve. I'll click the Fluid Approvals tiles to see all my approvals, including Gideon Taylor EPAF forms. Select a form to approve. I'll find the Form Action buttons at the end of the form, as well as any previously added comments. Let's switch to Desktop View and see some of the other ways an approver can access their pending forms. An approver can receive an email notification with a hyperlink that opens directly to the form page.
the transaction log will update with any new form action. I can also use the search page to find all the forms which are pending for me to approve. The job change form will show the employee's original data side by side with the updates. Each Gideon Taylor ePath form has a companion component interface. When a form has been authorized by all approvers, PeopleSoft will be updated with the new information. For this job change form, you will see a new effective data row with the form action and reason, as well as the change made to department, location, reports to position, hours information, and compensation.